Hello everyone, in this video we will see how MCP server can automate the playwright automation test case and it will save our lots of time. So please watch full video to understand how to configure MCP and uh, generate the automated test cases. Yeah, hello everyone, welcome to Robotic Kiwi. Today we will see like how we can use the GitHub Copilot and configure the playwright mcp and the playwright mcp will do the automation for us and it will execute the script also okay we will learn all these things in this video so let's start uh, with the copilot installation i'll go quickly so this is the vs code id inside this on the left side we'll get this option extension and here you can search with a copilot okay so there is no project created yet okay you can create a project mm, take any project like playwright if you have simple project or if you have framework also that's fine or if you create an empty project also fine so you need to install this copilot github copilot and github copilot chart okay i think once you install copilot it will automatically install the chart extension also okay and keep updating this uh, um, extensions because you will get frequently the updates which will improve the accuracy and the how it help in the automation okay so i have simple uh, just folder open here if you want you can create a new uh, empty project also or if you have existing playwright also and uh, if you want to do the automation okay so now the extension is installed so you will get an option on the right bottom side and on the top also these are like copilot icons so click here and click on open chat so as you know in the copilot we have a different modes one is the ask mode one is the agent mode one is the edit mode okay so we have we have to go to the agent mode and you can select the different models available okay cloud is on it gpt 4.1 gpt 4.0 so if you have like a uh, enterprise uh, license you will see the uh, more models available here okay so okay this this matter but for time being you can select any one okay i'm selecting 4.1 and now we have a, we are in agent mode okay you see the icon on the right side here configure tool okay so if i click here you see some built-in tools okay some built-in tools like code base so it it can what this uh, tool help uh, copilot like copilot is able to access your code base using this code base then edit file fetch okay so there are uh, different terminals also and down if you see like i have a mcp server okay so by default you will not see it okay and the different actions we perform using the playwright okay so how it work so how to configure this playwright mcp server here okay so for that what you need to do you go to your uh, um, search and here search with user setting okay so you can configure at to both level like global also and user setting so preferences open user setting in bracket json so if you open this one if you see i have configured here playwright mcp server okay and from where you will get this detail so, okay once you search playwright mcp um, you will get this first option there is another also but uh, this is a uh, from official right so always use the official uh, mcp server uh, okay so it will be more secure so let's say in your project you are using playwright as it is open source so if they develop something mcp also i think it's okay because you are already using the playwright right from the same uh, vendor so it is from microsoft so i prefer to use this one and they have repo and they have some documentation you can go through what is the mcp model context protocol server key features llm friendly okay and the requirement also vs code cursor okay cloudy you can configure this mcp with the different things so we are doing with the vs code we can do with cloudy also and you see we got the details here so this section you have to copy as it is okay so we have mcp servers playwright command is npx and argument so we are using playwright hyphen mcp latest version okay and they have given down also like in vs code also how it work like there are different way you can do it from command line also 
okay terminal also or you can manually open the json file and another option is you can directly click on this vs code also so if i click here you see it is asking me to open in the vs code so you don't need to find in uh, find it okay so it will ask you to uh, install server okay and uh, okay it will provide all the steps and it will open this file okay and then it, uh, it will get added here or you can manually also copy and paste it here so once you paste it here you you see here there is an icon are coming like running i can stop the server also okay it is stopped now if i go to setting it will not work okay uh, if i even try uh, some ask something to automate to this chat it will not work right copilot can do uh, give me answer do the modification to file okay write the code but it cannot automate browser and that's why emcp is there so our copilot will talk to emcp server and emcp will be able to interact with the browser okay so that's how it work let me start it okay this is one way manually adding it here or you go to website click on that vs code icon and third option is click on this uh, configuration option so if you click here go to the down and you see add more tools okay and then add mcp server and you get a different option npm npm package so here you can put a npm package similar to what they have mentioned here like playwright mcp so i can just copy it with add the red paste it here enter it will as ask allow again it is thinking okay i have already done asking to enter some name play right where do you want to set up it user setting workspace let's say user and you see same thing it did so there are two two three ways you can configure the mcp server and once you learn like how to configure the play right mcp server you can do it with any other server also let's it, let it be db related there are n number of servers mcp servers are there so you can configure any or if, if you, you can have multiple servers also here okay now you understood like what is mcp server now uh, let me ask something to the chat i want to automate something okay i want to automate something so let's say uh, if you have like manual test case you just copy and paste it here i don't have so i'll just ask uh, step one let's say navigate to google.com step two is uh, enter text apple in search box and step three is click on or you can press enter key okay so we are not giving any information what is the locator okay um, but what will happen we are sending this prompt to this gpt 4.1 model okay or if you are using other model that model will talk with the uh, our mcp server which is running right let me check if it is running or it is stopped okay it is running okay and that mcp server will interact with the playwright library and automate the browser okay so let me hit enter and let's see what magic will happen now okay it's giving uh, some to automate uh, browser action like navigation website uh, enter text okay playwright or your currently workspace does not appear to have any automation script okay set up this okay it is giving me a um, few uh, things like would you like me to set up simple browser automation script okay so what could be the reason uh, here uh, because i just restarted it so it is not able to uh, detect it or, or i have un, uh, disabled it right so there are two reason if you are if without mcp server this is what happen okay it will not able to automate browser or if you have unchecked this one it is not enabled this may happen now i have enabled it let me paste it sorry how i can go to the same chat again okay this is my previous chat right now i have enabled it let me ask it again okay same window i can ask and let's see what happened now and yeah see initially when i asked there was no mcp enabled now it is enabled so it navigated also 
and it is asking some permission right so if you see here uh, it is reading the page snapshot and based on that it understood like I asked to enter some text into the text box okay based on the snapshot only there are different configuration also available okay but let it be now it detected this input also I just need to give command like continue and you see it entered apple now to press also again I need to give command and it searched okay I can give other commands also like close the browser and all okay and if you see all are green so it will say okay I have performed these steps okay now how it will help in the framework let's say you have a playwright framework or if you have uh, selenium framework and you are using selenium mcp I can ask uh, the agent to based on the above execution please provide me playwright script okay so this is one way you can ask uh, to create a script for me and you see the it created playwright script locator everything for me I can just add it to the file okay Mm, let's say playwright dot demo sorry demo dot ts okay and I can just hit here to copy all the code I can do npm install playwright and using node I can run this uh, file okay they have given name also for me so let me rename it okay so you understood like how it is helping us to write the code locator everything now let's say your intention is to write the script in a uh, different way like you have page object model okay you have feature file so i can ask please write feature file for above steps and you see it will write the feature file like uh, Gherkin syntax for you also okay and uh, if you are okay with this one you can just accept these changes like do the click and it created the feature file I don't have ex extension installed so you will not see in the green color like colored theme okay and even if you need a locators uh, for this flow in the table format so that I can put it into the external file like JSON or CSV that also you can do it okay so indirectly like you can do you can save you lots of time using the uh, mcp server okay so instead of wasting time uh, to do this all uh, manual scripting you can automate everything i hope this video is informative and thank you for watching it